uh, good afternoon all. Uh, we are meeting after a long time. So last time I represented car automation with my team. And today I am going to show you something that we already developed. But we extended the system. So we have developed a new home automation system that can work in two different ways. You can also operate the same system using mobile app. And you can also operate the same system using voice commands. So before I go further, uh, let me introduce my team. So he is Devan Sparma, 4th semester information technology student and he is Arkit Patel, 4th semester information technology student. So we were the, uh, this is the same thing we have used for car also. So we have been working for almost 3 to 4 projects already and now we are extending our work. So before I go further, let's have a look at the circuit that we have developed. So if you look, it is almost the same circuit. So it has a relay board. Arduino and Bluetooth sensor. So we have utilized the similar circuit, the concept of reusability and we have implemented the same thing using voice command. So before I start the demo, you can see that we have provided 5 watt adapter to this particular circuit and one more power bank is required for Arduino. So it is connected with this desktop, if you can see. So instead of this desktop, you can also use any other adapter if you wish to. Let's start with the basic home automation. So I will start with the first app. So there are two separate apps. One app is there for voice command and another one is there for So I will start with the uh, basic app. So now what I am going to do, as you can see, surrounding, all the lights and fans are working. As this particular circuit works on Bluetooth, so I'll just connect it and I'll just pass different commands. So if you look at the app, basically we are going to pass certain strings and these strings will recognize the appliance. So I've given some command, let's a star on. So currently already the circuit is on, so I need to switch it off. So as you can see, suddenly the everything is switched off and now if I want to switch it on again I'll just pass the command and automatically all the appliance will switch on yeah so this thing I already shown you but here we have used different commands now what I'm going to show you the same thing I'm going to do using voice so practically I'll give the voice command and the circuit will work so currently I've developed a separate app for this voice command but later on we can combine both the things and using the same circuit we can do both the things. So I'll start with the voice thing. So for this voice actually I've used Google APIs. So this voice actually works on internet. So whatever string I'm going to pass that would be through GPRS to this particular circuit. So first I need to connect with the actual circuit. So it takes a moment. So now I'll switch on all the appliances together. On, sorry, currently all the appliances are on. So what I need to do actually is switch it off. Off. And as you can see, using voice command, all the appliances are off. And it is very fast. Now let me switch on it again. On. on and you can quickly see that all the appliances are on now same thing you can just change the code whatever the code we have developed and you can do it for individual appliances also so let's say you just want to use particular light so you can just give let's say light on light off similarly fan on fan off and so on so that was my today's demonstration i hope you all will like it and if you have any queries, then you can send me queries on sharnil, S-H-A-R-N-I-L dot pandya, P-A-N-D-Y-A 84 at gmail.com. Thank you.